back to my channel today I'm here with a new video and today we are reviewing the new um, liquid matte lipsticks from Gucci I picked up four shades when we get started if it's your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like button but anyway y'all let's just get right into today's these mm -hmm. lipsticks retail for $42. They are available in about eight of eight. These are transfer proof, matte finish, high coverage, and these also have hyaluronic acid. I believe these are available in eight or nine shades. I picked mine up from the actual Gucci website, but when I seen these on Sephora, they did have an extra shade. It was like a purple kind of plum color. And now on Gucci, when I was on there, the first day that these were released, that shade was not on there. I'm kind of disappointed in the shades that I picked up because I feel like these look very, very similar and I was not expecting that. But anyway, y'all, so in this video, I'm just going to apply each lipstick to my lips. I'm going to swatch them and then we'll go from there. And the first shade that I have is the shade Lizzie Tiger. This is described as a soft matte orange. I feel like this is a orange red and I feel like it leans more towards red and I'm actually wearing this shade right now and it is super bright so I did kind of tone it down with the brown lip line and the lip line I used was the Buxom Power Liner. I feel like this looked very very bright when I first applied it. This is what it looks like swatched on my hand and these feel very very soft almost like a moussey kind of texture like these feel really good going on and even with having this on my lips it doesn't feel too dry and also I feel like you could actually build up the color with these lip shades um with most Gucci lipsticks you could really build up the color payoff to be as intense as you want that's one thing that I love about Gucci lipsticks so um this is what it looks like with a lip liner and I actually like it a lot more than I first um applied it without one and this was the main shade that I was excited for just because y'all know I love orange lipsticks and I feel like this is a lot this is more red so I would say this is an orange red um this is not just a straight up orange lipstick which that's what I was expecting the shade that I have is the shade they met in Argentina and this is described as a soft matte pink lipstick this is what they met in Argentina so yes, I will agree this is a soft um, pink color. I'm going to apply this to my lips and I'm not going to use a brown lip line unless I feel like it's absolutely necessary. This is what they met in Argentina looks like on my lips. I did go in with two coats of this lipstick to try to really build up the color. And now that I've done that, I don't like how this looks without a lip liner. So I'm gonna go around the edges of my lips with the same brown lip liner. This is what they met in Argentina looks like with the lip liner. Um, I like it a lot better. I, that's just my personal preference. Now without the liner, it didn't look too bad at all. You could actually wear it that way, but I like it how it looks with the lip liner. I don't think it looks too bad. I actually like, this shade of pink and I probably just went in with too much of the lipstick. The next shade that I have is a shade Mildred Rose and this is also described as a soft pink. I don't know why I picked up two soft pink lipstick. Clearly that was an accident. I watch it right next to they met in Argentina just to see how similar they are. What they look like swatch side by side and sorry this is a sloppy swatch. They don't really look the same. Um, they met in Argentina is definitely a little more pink. Of course, I'm going to go in with this lipstick without a lip liner. So this is what Mildred Rose looks like on my lips. I actually like this shade of pink a lot better than um, the shade they met in Argentina. I feel like this looks a lot more natural and I didn't have to use a lip liner and it looks pretty good. I actually like how um, this shade of pink looks on my lips. I feel like this would be the perfect nude if you were around my skin tone. Like, I think you will really like this lipstick. I like how it And looks. the last shade that I have is Goldie Red. And this is described as a soft red um, color. So let's do a quick swatch. I'm going to swatch this right next to this shade Lizzie Tiger. OK, 
Okay, so this is what Goldie Red looks like with just one layer of this lipstick. I'm gonna go in with another layer and kind of build up the color to be a little more intense. what goldie red looks like with two um, layers on my lips and as you see this is just a classic shade of red i really like how this look right now um, i kind of thought goldie red would be my least favorite shade. i was going to really like lizzie tiger but that kind of was uh, i would say i'm the most disappointed out of that shade just because i expected it to be a more bright vibrant shade of orange and to me it's not it's more of like an orange red what are my thoughts on these lipsticks um in the description it says that these are supposed to be transfer proof i don't really feel like they're all that transfer proof just because um with me applying them to my lips then removing them and going to the next shade i was able to remove these lipsticks like that usually with a transfer proof liquid lipstick or liquid lipsticks in general you kind of have a very hard time removing them from your lips and these ones come off pretty much just like that like a satin lipstick now that's not a bad thing but that kind of concerns me just in case if you put a or a mask for a long period of time this lipstick would definitely come off on a mask and i was kind of expecting it to be like the dior uh rouge liquid lipstick i think that's the name of it i'll pop a picture up of it because i don't feel like getting up now that's a transfer proof liquid lipstick like you kind of have a hard time removing that so i kind of expected it um to be the same way which is it's not it isn't a bad thing at all out um, of that right now in this moment i actually really like these lipsticks i like how they feel on my lips i like the texture of it it's nice me and moussey um i don't really feel like you would get a long day wear out of these especially if you were eating and drinking a lot i feel like these will come off right away so i'm not sure about the staying power of them but they do look nice on the lips and i like the um color pigment of it like gucci makes really nice quality lipsticks i feel like these are nice quality lipsticks i just don't think that they're transfer but if you did make it this far into the video you will see that there is a giveaway alert on the screen which means i'm going to be giving one of you lucky ladies one of these lipsticks now of course i'm not going to give you one that i use today i will send you one um, from sephora's website or gucci website any shade of lipstick that you want i will gift it to you and all you have to do is comment below something about the video or something about gucci makeup in general that's pretty much it and i'm gonna pick a winner within 24 hours of this video posting so that means if you comment to enter the giveaway please um look out and check the community tab to see if your name is called because i don't want to hunt you down to give you a lipstick now i'll wait a while if you don't reach out to me i will go on and pick someone else your notification on but anyway y'all that is it don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye